Hi, this is Ryan from RapWeaverClassroom.com, and I'd like to introduce you to the Google Maps stack from Joe Workman. The Google Maps stack will let you embed a Google Map on your site, but the stack converts it to a static image instead of using Flash. That way it's compatible with iOS devices that do not use Flash. And so in this example, I've got the map of the US added with some markers dropped onto the map. And I want to show you how to set that up in edit mode. So let's jump over to edit, where you will see the Google Maps stack added to the page. Right now there are five locations added and you can see the five different markers. And if you double click into the location field, you can simply type the location that you want to drop a marker on and that's all you have to do. You can display up to 20 different markers using this stack and to do that, you go into the inspector HUD. So let's take a look there. The options for width and height are available to set the size of the image that will be displayed. You can zoom in very closely to locations or more zoomed out for something like an entire map of the US like we have in this example. You can also choose the area for the center of your map and the type of map that's displayed. Available types are roadmap, satellite, hybrid, and terrain, and we saw the roadmap view. You can choose to show or hide the markers on the page, and then finally the number of markers that you want to add. As I said, you can display up to 20 different markers on your map, and in this example I have it set to 5. You can set the marker color, and also choose to display large or small markers on the map. And so there's a number of options here that are available for customizing the look and feel of your map. And this is the result. So this is the Google Maps stack from Joe Workman.